So please, please, let's hear it for Kirk Bean. All right, guys, I'm going to do something really extreme right now, but I need you all to promise to stay calm and only have five minutes. All right? Promise? Yeah. All right. It's not inappropriate. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable up here, all right? <laughs> I'm fucking wild, all right? Stay with me. But I was not always wild, right? I was born an adorable human. Devious. Right? Obviously, but adorable. A product of a Catholic family in the Midwest in the 80s. I love Michael Jackson. He's the coolest. Steve Urkel, the coolest. Obviously, brown face, severely inappropriate. I was like seven, right? Don't fault me. In my late teens, early 20s, I unfortunately spent that time murdering and torturing the poor people of Iraq. Sit with that. Every day, I battle with that. The re intense regret and guilt that I feel for the awful, awful things I've done. Awful. I've been in very, very dark places. Darker than you can possibly imagine. But I always knew there was a solution, a creative solution. I tried every possible traditional therapy, and I knew that harnessing this light that I was receiving had to be the answer. I couldn't receive the message. It seemed too easy. Get out of my own way. I was losing my goddamn mind. I tried everything... My doctors told me, my therapy told me, my family told me, and I found zero solutions. Finally, I realized I need to find my own creative solutions to my problems. I found art. Whew. Guys, art is my saving goddamn grace. You know, art allows me to be the truest version of myself. Art allows me to stand here, my goddamn pants down, right? Art allows me to express myself with torches, and wax, and paint, and everything. Everything is art to me. This stage is art to me. It's fabulous. Next, I found yoga. If you're not doing yoga, step your goddamn game up, guys. It's, it's the coolest, right? Um, it allows your mind to sync with your body and really learn who you are. Next, I started exploring even further non-traditional therapies, cannabis, psychedelics. I didn't do cannabis or psychedelics since my late 20s, early 30s. Whew, so cool, guys. <laughs> then I found meditation. Meditation is by far the absolute coolest. Meditation allows me to receive this knowledge and apply it to my daily life. Without meditation, I am nothing. Please do meditation. Meditation allows me to explore all of my passions, explore my art, ice climbing, rock climbing. I can, do, I can do goddamn anything, guys. Throw it at me. I'm there. I was able to start creating artwork for my friends and community to allow myself to have the freedom to share my expressive side with my community and give my art to, to my friends. Eventually, I started Art of War Project. Art of War Project is this organization I started to show veterans how to tap into these creative resources, how to explore art to the fullest. <laughs> Through Art of War, I was able to put on retreats, going to the mountains of Granby and exploring art and yoga and meditation to the fullest in a three or four day weekend. So powerful, guys. Next, I was able to combine my art and my yoga together. This is my performance from Iceland. I spent a residency in Iceland this past summer. I was able to bring it all together and really make an impact in that community there. What I'm saying is, allow yourself to live in a world of magic. 
Allow yourself to spend an evening on a black sand beach in Iceland experiencing the aurora borealis. Find those creative solutions to your complex problems. They're out there. Look at things with the utmost intent possible. And whatever you do, whatever you do, take pleasure seriously. Thank you. Hi guys. I will do fucking weird things if you hug me like that man just hugged me. <laughs> to be fair, he asked me to do this. Excuse me. All right. Ugh.